Hey Aquarius, welcome to your November 2017 Terrascope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you and a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for becoming a part of my community here on YouTube. Um, I love that we can connect and build this like-minded community and um, you are then more than likely to receive uh, the messages that you need to hear. So keep the comments coming and the likes and the shares. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, through November 11th, I am offering a 10 additional uh, minute uh, time frame to any reading that's purchased. Um, but -ba -bum. Did I say November 11th? Yes, I'm sorry. I just had a little whew, brain thing there going on. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so that can be purchased. I, I kept it really simple on my website. There's two options. You can book a video reading and or a personal one-on-one, -on -one, which would be a phone and or Skype reading. You can have any spread you want, um, any cards that you want. I'm pretty flexible, uh, which leads me into just speaking briefly about my life purpose spread. 2018 is right around the corner here, so now's the time to plan your goals. Um, Decide where you're going, what you want to do, and the life purpose spread kind of delves into that. I've really perfected it. I've been doing it a long time, but I've kind of added to uh, the growth and the vision uh, through the cards. So if you're trying to decide, you know, where am I going in my life? Who am I? What do I need to be doing? Am I doing the right thing? Definitely consider booking a life purpose reading with me. I would love and be honored to do that for you. Uh, the guided meditation is still up for grabs. Uh, the link is below as well. I believe it takes you to my contact page. Please fill out the yellow box. That's for my mailing list. Then you will have the uh, free guided meditation emailed to you directly. In October, a lot of you guys went to that page but filled out my inquiry form. I apologize. It could be a little confusing. Uh, but focus on the yellow box and uh, fill that out. And lastly, I will be doing, in lieu of the normal mid-November readings, uh, da -da -da -da, the 2018 uh, forecast for each sign. I'll probably do like a 12-card spread, uh, one card for each month, and... You know, any clarifying along the way that needs to be done, but that's uh, really exciting. And I'm, I'm dying to get those rolled out uh, for the bigger picture view of what's going on for you for 2018, my Aquarius. Okay, enough, whew, enough of all that. Uh, hope I didn't keep you too long on this intro. Um, I've laid out the cards at the bottom of the deck. Let's jump in here, Aquarius. You have the Queen of Wands. Okay, and this is that fire uh, energy of, oh, let's see, this could be an Aries, Leo, a Sag person coming into your life. When it's the overall energy, I feel it's what needs to be emulated, right? You're an air sign, uh, but I feel like this creative, feisty energy is here for you, up for grabs here in the month of November, uh, manifesting what you want. Okay, I see a lot of endings, some decisions here for you. Um, yeah, and definitely this a lot of twos here and even making some sacrifices, but I feel that uh, you're kind of on an uptick here, you know what I mean? Um, use this energy, it definitely is going to help you uh, manifest what you want. At the heart of the reading and representing the overall situation for the month of November is the Hermit. Um, so I think you've been in a very contemplative state, seeking enlightenment, growing. Okay, uh, this whole year has been kind of uh, topsy-turvy. Um, I know that, the, um, that you guys are in that... Um, Focus time frame, astrologically speaking. So, looks like you know you've really been searching for some internal um, guidance here, um, trying to kind of not withdraw in a negative way, but uh, going in a place where there's no distractions to seek your own clarity um, and your own wisdom. So, 
Uh, the hermit sometimes represents purpose. Like, what is your life purpose? I feel like a lot of you are trying to figure that out. You have some decisions and options here and completions. And I think what a great way to start 2018. You know, uh, you're going to be rolling into cycling out your um, solar year. So uh, uh, maybe spending some time in nature might help you here too as well with the enlightenment portion of it. But you guys are here, you know, in this space, looks like, um, well, let's start here. I kind of want to jump ahead, but crossing you is the king of cups. And this is a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer person. Um, crossing you. You know, I feel like maybe some healthy boundaries, you know, um, are in order here. Um, an opportunity to master your feelings, you know, and that's what could be a life, a lifelong journey for all of us, you know, because um, we never want to become the victim of our emotions, uh, but to, to, to find the balance between our intellect um, and our feelings and compassion for others, you know, the King of Cups is, um, you know, a very gentle, um, usually older male here, uh, it's not specifically gender specific because it speaks about energy as well. But uh, you know, being a powerful business leader, but knowing how to balance um, his life between like law and order, or um, be just just simply being uh, responsible for his actions, listening to his intuition. Now you're an air sign. Um, with this you, crossing you, maybe some of you are not listening to the guidance that are is coming through, or you just need to go deeper deeper into that place. Uh, at your foundation is the Two of Pentacles. Um, so you've been a busy camper, you know, you, some of you have been, you know, juggling a lot, trying to find that, you know, work-life balance. This card does kind of represent, you know, possibly, uh, you know, the materialistic, tangible things in our lives. Um, property, money, business, um, how we create and grow and shape our lives. So the two indicates that, uh, you know, you've been striving for some kind of work-life balance. I think some of you may be considering losing, uh, losing, leaving a career. You have the Ace of Wands here and you're you're just torn up about it. Um, you know, trying to make a decision here has kind of brought you to this this place of um, searching for the answers. So kudos to you. I mean, you're doing it the right way. You're not seeking it from the outside. You're really, really, really digging deep to find the stability that you want in your life. Um, and, you know, there may be a lot of ups and downs. The, the rocky water kind of indicates um, this feeling of, I wouldn't say insecurity, but just trying to find your groove, you know, staying balanced and dealing with any pain and grief um, that you've been having to deal with. So, you know, stay on a positive path as much as you can. Let go of the old stuff. And as you're going through a transformation process, and this definitely is going to come to fruition here, even through sacrifice, I still feel, though, that you have to be in this space. And if you're not, you need to. This is where you're going to find your strength, Aquarius. So in your recent past is the chariot. And this is, again, another decision card you being faced with. Um, uh, Two paths here, two directions maybe to go down, uh, faced with the decision. Um, but it's a victory card. Um, so I feel like, in a way, you're on top of this, okay? Um, being next to the hermit here, you are. You're doing what you need to do, Aquarius. Very, very nice. You're rising above the conflicts. And, and, and this is kind of on a higher level, this energy. This is a major arcana. Um, so you're going to the next level, another uptick for you. Um, still being faced with which way to go, but you're going to be victorious over these obstacles. And I feel like you're getting, um, 
a leg up on it, even though you may feel like in your immediate future you may have to make a sacrifice or surrender something, but that's okay. You know, be brave because through surrender and this challenge of you having to make this decision is for the betterment, okay, of your life. So, you know, maybe this new job offer, say you're getting in this new home or this move, it came kind of at a point where you're like, okay, you know, I have a decent paying job. Um, I may not be super happy, but I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. And uh, uh, now you're, I wouldn't say being forced to make a decision, but you're having a hard time uh, deciding, okay, what you want to do. Now, you have the balance card here. I love this card. It actually reminds me of the magician card. And actually in the John Holland deck, this is uh, justice. Doing what's right. So justice, as we know, you know, it does represent legal matters, uh, divorce, maybe a lawsuit. Uh, but ultimately, it's consequences for your actions, um, reaping what you sow, okay? Um, so for some of you that are not happy with your job or your home or where you live, uh, this is the opportunity for you to change that. Um, so that, that, you know, that energy is there for some of you in that position as well. Um, the car, the justice card is like a karmic gateway and we reap what we sow and you're being released kind of on this new path. And this is confirmation that it's okay. Okay. That you can do it. And hopefully through this reading, you'll find the courage to be brave and reach these new levels. Cause again, look at this, the energy of the chariot. And there's no doubt about that, that, um, things are going to be made right in your life. This is huge right here. This is huge. Things are going to be made right. Maybe there's been some injustice for some of you. Okay. Totally. Some of you maybe have been in a place where it's time for you to reap the rewards of some unjust karmic um, episodes, but you know, for you as well, you know, balance is key. I don't know if I mentioned that, but, uh, things are being made right. So you always want to be, you know, on the up and up as well. So it's a two way street, uh, cause karma, let me tell you guys, turns around and comes back pretty quick. So, um, just be aware of that. Really, really, really important for some of you. Okay, crowning you is the world. So here, here is your um, completion coming in, and this is best that could be hoped for. So, congratulations! I'd feel that you know by the end of November, um, you're going to complete uh, this shift and change. You're going to feel like yes, I reached this milestone. Yes, I made this decision. You've kind of climbed that mountain, and if you reached the top. So for some of you, this is going to actually feel like maybe a tough journey here. Um, you know, let me see. The world also kind of indicates travel and you have the chariot here. Uh, uh, some of you might be traveling. I know that's kind of on a side note, but kind of wanted to throw that in there. Um, but the world card, you know, this is you going full cycle, full, 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 uh, completion here for you. Um, endings and now moving forward. This is really, really great. About halfway through the month, Okay, we have the hanged man here. Again, I mentioned that earlier. Uh, let's see. You know, being within, rising above, taking the, taking the energy of this chariot and moving on and upward. Uh, really, really, really important here. Uh, the energy of the hanged man is about having some new perspectives and finding your purpose once again, focusing in on you know, what's necessary in life. And if there has been any delay and you've been kind of really struggling, because look, I see here the two of swords as well. Don't fret because I really feel like, you know, sometimes delays could be for a reason and for the best possible outcome. Um, either way, Aquarius, you got to get there by the end of the month with the world card here. So don't make yourself crazy. Uh, keep staying inward. 
focusing in on on your intuition and messages are coming in and don't get caught up in this um, you know fretting too much here um, with this decision and being too guarded because uh, you also have wow the nine of swords here as well you know and this is that air energy and you guys relate to that very well you know being an air sign um, hmm. you know <clears throat> Don't be in this fearful space. This is this is your power in this situation. So, eek, you know, you know, being in this headspace is only going to make it more painful for you, so to speak. Um, let's see, nine of swords. Um, but you know, if you take action, you know, even if you're in this place, I do see the five of cups here. That was your outcome. Yikes. You know, we're going to have to definitely pull some clarifiers. There's a, some mixed information here that I'm trying to iron out for you because I don't want you to rush and force the situation. Um, you know, the delay is happening for a reason, but it's killing you, okay? You're just like, ah, you know, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take action if I'm in this fear because I'm waiting and I have all these decisions to make and I'm guarded. So I, I think here for you what I'm feeling is don't worry. It's all going to work out. Let, let's keep it that simple, stupid here, you know. Um, even though you may feel, you know, that you're ugh, you're stuck, I feel the solution is right in front of you, okay. Call on faith. Going back to here, call on faith again, okay, to get the guidance that you need. Don't sit up in bed and, and just agonize, okay. Find the creative solutions to manage your emotions, you want to find your purpose. You're going to make the sacrifices. You're going to make the decisions. You're going to become unguarded. You know, um, because look at this beautiful new beginning for you. This is amazing. This is the Ace of Swords. So, I mean, Ace of Wands. So, you know, through all this, you know, all these struggles and trying to make decisions and feeling guarded, uh, look at this energy coming in for you. I mean, this is pretty incredible. You have serendipity as well for your oracle card from Colette Baron reed um, And this is about, and that's about aligning, you know, new opportunities. Look at this. Look how beautiful this card is with the um, four-leaf clover. And look at her reaching up for that. Mm, 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 mm. I love that. We'll read the meaning um, here in a moment, but... I feel like you're going to be stepping in alignment with your dreams and be able to find that harmony that you need in your life. Um, the Ace of Wands, you know, definitely confirmation of new beginning. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I feel like this is, you know, more in the tangible things in your life. It is an action card. You're going to find the... the um, <laughs> the headspace. You're going to, you're going to be enlightened to take action. You're going to be like, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to be in this place. And hopefully this reading will help you with that because look at this new energy, grab it, hold on to it. Um, this is that fresh perspective that you've been waiting for. Um, moving forward, uh, the new job is going to come in or you'll be able to make the decision. Um, and just finally go for it, um, new home. This could be a new relationship too. Now, I don't see a lot of cups cards here, but hey, you know, the for some of you, this is um, in general readings, definitely also a potential for new love, okay? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's see what else I have for you. This This is actually, this is just wonderful. This is the, you know, those seeds, you know, the number... Aces are like the number one, so it's the very, very beginning of the whole process, right, until we get to the 10 in our ending. So new beginnings here for you, um, Aquarius, for the month of November. Um, I would say this is probably like almost towards the end, but again, um, not necessarily. I feel it's the overall energy. And look at this. You have the Queen of Wands, so you're going to be kicking butt and taking names. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> chica, 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 chica. I love it. I love it. Very, very nice, Aquarius. That fiery energy. You're like, okay, I'm done. I'm moving lower. This is fabulous. 
Sorry, my computer just went dark. Um, so kudos to you. That That's just wonderful. <clears throat> okay, but please do not fall into any old... What's the word I'm looking for? Um, that old track, that old... Um, Oh, Lord, what is the word I'm looking for? I'm so sorry, your turn of phrase. The Five of Cups, okay, is your final outcome card, and we'll throw down some clarifiers, but be really careful not to have any regrets, honestly. Um, you know, life is never perfect anyway. You still have great prosperity there behind you. Look at the two cups still standing in your home. Um, you know, so don't get in this despair, okay? Um... And this monkey mind, maybe, of falling back into old habits, meaning um, having regret, like, did I do the right thing? And I don't know, blah, blah, blah. You know, in the bigger picture of life, uh, we have to shift through these changes. You have the energy of uh, endings coming in anyway. I feel you guys are going to make the right decision. So don't, don't, don't regret it, okay? Um, you still may have some residual you know, going through some questionable, um, you know, did I do the right thing headspace, but it's honestly meant to be. There's some karmic connection here as well for you to make this change and move forward. All right, let, let's just pull some quick clarifiers for you, Aquarius. Whew, all right. Our lovely water bearers. What kind of additional messages for Aquarius? Please clarify. The reading for Aquarius. And one more. Right. Mm. Okay. You know, there might be some heartache here for you guys. Two of Wands. The magician. I love it. You know, wasn't I just saying it reminds me of the this justice card here? And one more Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like, honestly, for some of you, this is about maybe a breakup, uh, some disappointment or heartache uh, that you've still been dealing with from the past, and, um, you know, you may regret ending things. Okay, this could be, you know, relationship, maybe a business partnership, and maybe that's your, why you're wavering going back and forth, because we're human beings, right? We have... We're supposed to have these emotions, you know, but again, being an air sign, tap into this flow. You guys get the water, you know, you're water barriers. So that's what I love about Aquarius because you can go with the flow when you tap into it, all right? And you're going you're gonna to seek the answers here. You know, you, you have been contemplating this uh, for quite some time. And, um, yeah. Don't fret. Don't don't worry about it. You're you're moving in the right direction. Okay, of uh, two of wands. Okay, so you have the ace of wands. Well, here you go. So you are moving forward. What I love about this having the ace of wands and the two of wands. Obviously, this this follows the ace. Um, this energy uh, to manifest because the the aces. <clears throat> Yes, they're a new beginning, and they're, they're always exciting to see in a reading. But if you don't take action, okay, that new energy can fizzle away. You know, it could be a quick opportunity, but if you don't seize the moment um, or plan ahead, right? So the two uh, of wands here is you walking down that new path, you know, taking that energy from the ace and, you know, focusing on your future and making new plans, you know. Um, again, similar... Similar energy to the chariot, where which is, you know, a little of that maybe. Which path do I want to go down? Because you know you have the two, another two. So like this is 
the third two you have. So, you know, you do have some challenging energy here, some important decisions to make in your life. Two, 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 two. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles, two of Swords, and the two of Rods. Well, oof. It's okay, though, Aquarius. You're going to get through this. Challenges are what make the make us grow and prosper. If life was was easy, we'd never learn anything. But look, between justice and you have the magician card here, this is you showing the world who you are, um, having all the tools that you need, okay, to have the success in your life. Will you look at that? Wow, I love it. Look at you. Mm -mm -mm. That is so beautiful. All the tools, your pentacles, your love, your cups, the swords, the rods, finding the balance in your life, showing the world who you are. It's going to be a nice phase for you. You know, 2018 is going to be amazing for you guys. Really, really, really. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, well, we know it's been a little bit of a process, um, you know, moving through this energy for you here. You know, this is the slowest moving night um, out of all of them in the deck. And he's very methodical, but he's trustworthy. He's a good provider. Um, this could be that tangible, that, that offer that's coming in for you. And again, new job and or, you know, relationship, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, another night that assumes responsibility, like the, the, the King of Cups, um, you being in that place of taking charge of the situation, but I think planning, 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 and not being stressed about it. Uh, so now you know that you can make plans for change and you're going to overcome all these obstacles. So this is just great energy for you to have Aquarius. Just amazing. Really, really happy for you. Just be easy on yourself, okay? Let's take a quick look at this serendipity card. I know I showed it to you earlier. We're gonna, I just love the pink with the green and the four-leaf clover. I remember being a little girl and just like looking and looking for a real four-leaf clover. You had to see me. Oh, my God. Hanging out with the fairies in my mom's yard, knowing that I would definitely, one day we're going to find a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Tapping into that childlike innocence. I love it. That's what I feel like this card is, you know. All right, let's read the meaning. I pulled the page so we didn't have to go hunting for it. All right. Da, 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 da. Opportunities aligned with readiness. The awareness of synchronicities. Luck and good fortune appearing at signs and si appearing as signs and symbols. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know, these are your signs and symbols. Signs and symbols. You've stepped into alignment with the greater good, where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite harmony. Now is the time for luck and pre preparation to meet and create the miracles that you could Never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now. As a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Whoa! That is, you know, that is huge. And, you know, there, there's an element astrologically, and I forget, let me think here. Um, you speaking your truth. It has to do with groups. Um, I feel in relation to your career or connected some way that there's going to be these wonderful new opportunities for you to move up the food chain. Okay? You have to believe in yourself. You have to ground your ideas. All right, let's finish reading here what else it says. Uh, da, 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 da. Your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into now will be a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being 
supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile for spirit loves you so very much. Well, you know, you're going to get through this. Uh, we have to be challenged sometimes before we can shine, right? Um, through the power of who we are, you know. So God bless you, Aquarius. This is a really, really beautiful reading. I'm so happy for you. Hey, please give this reading a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you guys mid-November for your 2018 forecast. Really excited to get those rolled out. I hope this reading helped you. Uh, and I'm always available for private readings if you guys need me, all right? So thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.